Morning everybody, it's a Fragrant Jock here. I hope everybody's safe and well. Today's quick, honest opinion um, is on a bargain I seen the other day in all beauty. I snapped it up. Um, I was going for at least over half price, I would say. I thought it re looks really classy. And I thought I'll give it a try. It's from Dolce & Gabbana and it's their velvet line. It's Dolce & Gabbana Velvet Amber Sun. It's got a few reviews on YouTube, um, three or four, maybe more than that reviews, most of them are really good. Um, it's a 50ml, comes in an outstanding presentation, really velvety uh, box with a, can I, I think it's a plastic plaque, it looks metal, uh, really good presentation, a heavy bottle with a, is it going to focus? Heavy bottle with a velvet cap, really solid cap. Take it off. A gold sprayer, really sprays well as well. So say 50 mLs. It's an EDP. Um, it really is outstanding presentation uh, by Dolson Gabbana. This is a velvet line. This is a kind of higher up. Obviously, they're a designer company, but this is this is more niche. I would say. It's quite hard to get and it's quite expensive, uh, so I think it falls into that bracket. Some of the notes in it, it was, um, they brought it out in 2017. Some of the notes, Yangalang, uh, Vanilla, Labdomen, um, Sandalwood, Tonka Beans, Frankincense, Amber, Patchouli, Oud. Um, it's got spices in it as well. It's a there's a lot more to it. It's a, a really well done concoction. Um, I've got it on the now. It's kind of, it's quite sweet and a, it's almost like a chocolate you get off it. And a kind of, I don't know, a hint of tobacco. Just a very, very hint. There is, a, there is patchouli there. I don't like too much patchouli um, and I don't like it anywhere earthy. But this, there's a bit of that, but it's a way in the background. It doesn't put you off at all. It really is very, very, as soon as you put it on, it's very, very classy. And you you know, you can tell it's expensive. Really outstanding fragrance. You would wear this on really special occasions. You would totally stand out with it. Very masculine as well. I'm not saying it, um, you know, women would get away with it. It could be worn by a female. And it is, I think it's marketed at unisex, but to me it's more masculine. Um, but as I say, uh, really is a lovely scent. Um, it was a good purchase for over half price. Some of the history on Dolce & Gabbana, well, the, the, uh, initially the two of them met. Uh, Stefano Gabbana and Domenico Dolce met in 1980 in Milan. Uh, they both worked for the same designers uh, before they started up their own company in 1985 and obviously, you know, the rest is history. They're massive now, uh, especially in fashion. Uh, I would say more in fashion than in fra fragrances, but they are massive. Just, they're up there with Prada and people like that. Uh, but this is a really, really lovely scent. You know, when I first got it, I wasn't too sure and I was thinking of, Maybe I'll swap it or sell, sell it in one of the groups. But it was a real good bargain. Um, I really would wear this in, you know, really good, you know, special occasions or, you know, it's not for everyday use, I don't think. This is really, really lovely. You see it's engraved in the cap there as well. Really is a lovely bottle. Smell, as I say. Projection-wise, see, I'm getting that kind of chocolate feel out. It. Now, it changes quite a lot. It's one of the fragrances that goes through a lot of changes. You get the kind of smoky, you get a kind of frankincense now and again, and then you get the the kind of chocolate thing. And at the very beginning, you get a wee bit of patchouli, but it really is nice. Um, and the sweetness, you get a lot of vanilla as well. It really is a complicated scent, but really, really classy. It oozes class and elegance. As I say, just a quick honest opinion, as I say, I'm glad I'm, I, I bought it. It's one to keep, you know. Um, 
they say it was reduced well over, I think it, the price here, um, shop around, you'll see it on eBay for £160, but that's in Russia. Um, nothing against Russians, but most of the stuff that comes through there is fake. Um, and, you know, it's an iffy situation to get it in here. Um, but you will shop around for it. Um, Harrods and that, you're talking about well over £200. Um, so... As I say, just shop around. But just a quick, honest opinion. I hope everybody's safe and well. It just gives you, you know, another heads up or something that's, you know, if you want to treat yourself, it's well worth it. Um, it's something that you would, you know, as I say, wear on special occasions. Um, but as I say, shop around. There's a couple of people in eBay as well selling samples. One of them's definitely genuine. And he's, uh, well, actually I put it on eBay and I'm selling a sample on uh, I think it's 5 mLs for £15, uh, which is a good deal f as far as I'm concerned for the price of this. Um, but there's another guy selling it, if you don't want that, there's another guy selling it for 2 mL. He's genuine as well, but he's about, he's about £12 for 2 mL, um, which is, you know, I would say right run about getting his money back. Um, I'm not looking for profit either. Um, you know, it is an expensive fragrance, uh, 2 mLs. I think you have to wear it a couple of times. Certainly the first time I wore it, I wasn't too sure, but a couple of times I thought, no, this is Uzi's class. Definitely is worth wearing, and it changes all the time, especially when you wear it out, and it gets airy. It leaves a good scent trail, and it smells lovely. It's not overpowering. It's soft, as I say. I was going to say the projection-wise, at least two hours. Longevity, um, you know, I would say six, at least six hours before its skin and you can still smell it a good few hours after six on your skin, but it's not a heavy projection. It's not something that's in your face. Uh, anyway, just a quick honest opinion. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Bye for now.